protesters marched in San Marco this afternoon, minutes after Jacksonville's mayor signed a ban on dozens of businesses deemed illegal and dangerous. New since noon, we've learned enforcement on internet cafes will start Tuesday. I'm John Bachman. I'm Tanika Hughes. That move will leave hundreds of people without jobs. Action News Jacks Ryan Nelson joins us live from San Marco, where some internet cafe employees protested this morning. And Ryan, this moves up the date of the ban on internet cafes by three months. That's right, Tanika. Initially, these businesses were going to be allowed to operate until. February. Now they have to shut down as soon as Tuesday. Signs, chants, and laps around the San Marco Square. Their message was clear and frustration obvious. Should have gave us our February deadline. Keep going. Liars. My only interest here is that everybody here stays safe and that the rest of the citizens of Jackson stay safe. Around the time Mayor Curry signed the bill into law, effectively shutting down internet cafes across the city of Jacksonville immediately, dozens of employees took to the streets to demonstrate. It's taken us out of a job with no notice right before the holidays. So how did we reach an immediate shutdown? It started in May when legislation banning simulated gambling machines was enacted. In June, the city started shutting down cafes running without permits. Meanwhile, those with permits were supposed to have until February 2020 to gain compliance. But in August, a security guard was shot and killed at a Paxson Internet Cafe, resulting in growing concerns by city council to move the deadline up. Legislation for an immediate shutdown was presented in September, passed by council on Tuesday, and signed by Mayor Curry this morning. Protesters say thousands are now jobless. No light bill, no groceries, forget about the holidays. How fair is this to the citizens of Jacksonville? If they can do this to a game room, what else can they do it to? And Action News Jacks has investigated the crime surrounding these businesses uh, for several years now. And earlier when we were here, we spoke to many of these people. They tell us that they're not sure what they're going to do next, but they're just trying to remain hopeful. Now, Action News Jacks will continue to follow this story as those inspections begin next week. Reporting in San Marco, Ryan Nelson, CBS 47, Action News Jacks.